What's up, bro amigos? So today, I want to talk about Frozen. Frozen's been out for a while, and personally, I really like that movie. And I thought I'd just share that love with you guys. Instead of making like a video of how much I love Frozen and stuff like that, I got something better for you guys. Today, I'm going to make my interpretation of the movie Frozen. Let's get started. So the movie starts with little girl Anna goes to her sister's bed and she goes, Elsa, Elsa, I want to play. And she's like, bitch, fuck you. And she blasts her in the face with some magic ice powers. The parents come in and are like, bitch, I told you not to use your powers on your sister. So they take Anna to these little trolls that look like rocks and they do some voodoo witchcraft type shit. So Anna and Elsa's parents ground Elsa for like 15 fucking years, just lock her up in a room. And then Anna was always knocking on the damn door like, Elsa, I want to build a snowman. Bitch, ain't no one gonna build a snowman with you. After a while, the parents go, and they're like, okay, we'll be right back. Don't worry, it's just a trip to go see family. Well, they fucking lied, because they died in a shipwreck on the way there. So with the parents gone, Elsa's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna be queen up in this bitch. So the coronation ceremony starts. Elsa's freaking the fuck out, because after 15 years of hiding her powers, it never once occurred to her to learn how to control them. So the coronation ceremony starts, so she grabs a little scepter and ball or whatever the hell it was, and it starts getting all icy, so she throws that shit down and said, fuck it, I'm queen. So then Anna's at the little party and then she meets this dude, because being locked up in a little tower for 15 years, you can tell this bitch thirsty. So Anna goes up to her sister and is like, hey, I'm gonna marry this dude, and then Elsa, being logical, is like, um, no you're not. You just met this boy, how you gonna know anything about him? And she's like, fuck you Elsa, I know all about this boy. And the bitch like, what's his last name? And she like... So then Anna flips shit and starts smacking up Elsa. And Elsa's like, fuck you, blast some more ice powers on the ground next to her. And everyone's like, oh shit, she a witch, she a witch. So Elsa freaks the fuck out and just goes running off. She goes running to the fucking mountaintop. Then Anna's like, oh no, I have to go chase after her. Then she talks to her bae and is all like, yo bae, take care of the kingdom for me. And he like, I got you boo. And then she goes to the fucking mountain chasing after her sister. With no equipment whatsoever, she's just like, I'm in a fucking dress. Let me go climb a damn mountain. Okay, that's logical. So then it cuts back to Elsa when she's at the top of the mountain, and then she starts singing Let It Go. I love Let It Go, and I love Frozen, but there comes a point where you just have to stop, okay? I liked that song for a while, and that was just old. You guys just need to let that song die, okay? It needs to die. It's over. Let it die. Let it die. Don't want to hear that shit anymore. So Anna's climbed the mountain, finds this blonde dude named Chris, right? And he's all like, yo, bitch, check on my reindeer. He the baddest reindeer up in this bitch. So Chris and Anna have been climbing the mountains, and they find this talking snowman named Olaf. If you don't know who Olaf is, then you clearly haven't watched Frozen, because he is the heart and soul of that damn movie. So then they get up to where Elsa is, and then they're like, how are we going to climb it? And then Olaf's like, bitch, there's stairs right there. You can climb this bitch. So then Anna went into the castle, started talking to her sister Elsa, and then Anna was like, Bitch, you need to fix what you did. And then Elsa's like, what do you mean what I did? Then Anna's like, you froze the damn city. Then Elsa's like, bitch, what? Then Anna's like, bitch, fix the damn city. Then Elsa's like, I don't know how to do that. Anna and Elsa start arguing. Then Elsa, being a bitch, goes like, fuck you. She makes like a giant, huge snow goliath thing. And then it just starts chasing Anna and Chris off the freaking mountainside. They somehow survive like a hundred foot drop. That makes no sense to me. But besides the point... But when Anna and Elsa were fighting, Elsa blasted Anna in the heart with some ice. So Chris takes Anna to those trolls in the beginning of the movie, and it turns out Chris was raised by these trolls. Then the trolls were like, we can't fix her, my bro bro. But if you give her true love's kiss, that'll fix it. Disney always loves to refer back to the true love's kiss, no matter what. This bitch is dying of hypothermia, you're gonna think a kiss is gonna fix it? Uh-uh. So then Anna has the brilliant idea and is like, yo, take me back to the castle, my bae's in there. So then Chris takes her back to the castle, drops her off, and then Chris just starts walking back up the mountainside. So then Anna's sitting here like, bae, give me a kiss. And then the dude just like, no, I never loved you, I just wanted the power, I wanted to be king. Fuck you. Anna starts crying, it's all emotional. Then the storm starts getting worse, and then Chris is like, oh no, gotta go help Anna out. The storm starts getting worse because it turns out Anna's bay actually captured Elsa on the top of the mountain, brought her back down. Elsa broke free and was just like, fuck all of y'all, I'm gonna freeze all you guys. And then started blasting icy wind everywhere. So Anna starts wandering in the snow because you know that's the best thing to do when you have hypothermia. So Chris and Elsa then try to find Anna in the snowstorm. Elsa's about to get killed by Anna's bay, then Anna's like, you know what, fuck you. Jumps in front of the sword, she turns into an ice crystal. Blocks the sword slash, sword breaks, Bay's sitting on the ground thinking what the fuck just happened. 
Elsa's sitting there crying, hugs her sister, and it turns out that was enough love to thaw on out. So then Elsa starts hugging, they're all happy and stuff, and then the storm's going back to normal, and Elsa's like, damn, love fixes the storm. And then the storm's starting to subside, all the snow starts melting, and then they're sitting there on a boat, right? Olaf starts melting, and then Elsa's like, no, I got you, bro, bam, and then gives him a little personal snowstorm so he can live forever. And Anna's bae's like, oh, no, I'm sorry. And she's like, no, fuck you. She hits him. He goes flying off the boat side. It was the best moment ever. And then a couple months go by. Anna and Chris, they're dating. They're having their little thing going on. Olaf's all chuckles and giggles like always. But then Elsa's like, yo, I'm going to be a good queen. She's like, bam, uses her ice powers for good now. Starts making ice skating rings and shit so all the people in the village can go have fun. And then you see everyone slipping and sliding on the fucking ice trying to get their footing. And then Disney just pans out to the sky. like... Frozen. Boom. There goes the credits. No more movie. So yeah, guys, hope you liked this video. It's fun to make. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, smash that subscribe button. And comment below what movies you think I should interpret next. Because this is definitely something I would love to do. So without further ado, peace out. Let it go. Let it go.